Welcome to India's Small Giants, where emerging enterprises with a big heart take on the biggest challenges to come out on top. These are the personal stories of top 40 SMEs that chose to be great instead of just big. Our first two companies overcame the same challenge, how to make Indian-made products as acceptable as foreign imported competing ones. The call for Swadeshi applies in a very interesting way to our first company. When they first started, HD Fire Protect had just one aim, to provide high quality firefighting systems in the local market at costs better than imports. Let's see what they did to get a 60% local market share as well as export to 50 countries. HD Fire Protect established in 1990 in Thane, specialized in water and foam based firefighting equipments. Their equipment is used in various sectors such as oil, power and petrochemicals. With mechanical engineering background and 12 years of working in the various field of manufacturing, and design development and integration of products in fire protection industry. I started off in 1990 my own industry considering only manufacturing base. The whole idea was to start manufacturing only an import substitution product which was the main thrust of starting up our industry. So that was a great success we observed after 24 years of working. Initial stages, there was a lot of resistance from various users, integrator, consultants for using an Indian product versus so many years of experience of international brand. But somehow we penetrated and got through in 1996 when our products were certified internationally by an organization. There is no other organization who certifies beyond this quality to define as. Despite initial hurdles and market resistance, they persisted, kept innovating and trying new things. They gained huge tractions once they got ASME and other international standard certifications. The first company in Asia as a fire production industry to get ASME certification for pressure vessels manufacturing. That was a great achievement for us. Other than that, we have been widely accepted all over the world today and we have been exporting more than 50 countries. Plus, we have got 25 to 30 percent continuous announcement and revenue increase in our manufacturing. With today's uh, fast moving world, and completely work. We have a young generation got into this manufacturing business and they are well qualified from international schools as an engineering graduates and MBA, uh, which has been boosting business very widely. HD Fire Protect offer high quality products with outstanding customer service. While integrity remains a core value for a business focused on saving lives, now a foreign educated second generation has joined the firm to take it to new heights. HD Fire is an organization of complete integrity. I can say that it is one of our core values. The primary reason behind it is this product is used for saving lives and you can understand the importance of quality and reliability of the products. These products are being used at various places for 15 years and 20 years. Even the slightest issue in a product can cause a major disaster. So we also continuously motivate and encourage our employees to have highest level of ethical standards. With 24 years of product installed worldwide and in domestic market, their reliability and acceptance has increased. HD Fire Protect's quality system is certified to ISO 9000 by TUV Nord. HD's product range is approved by Underwriters Laboratory USA, Factory Mutual and BIS in India. Their facilities include an on-site foundry, CNC machine shop and an in-house testing facility to test flow to 18,000 litres per minute with 24 bar pressure. We have a very wide market research and based on inputs of the market, we continuously modify our product and recertification is a continuous process for our industry. Today, HD holds up to 60% of market share in industrial firefighting products. With a 100 crore turnover, HD are expecting a 25 to 30% growth in next five years. We have started a medical checkup yearly for all our employees. We also provide them accident policies and 
moderate them by training. We also contribute a lot of money towards and medical aid to the women's. The vision of the company is build brand equity globally and have a large base of water and force home based fire production equipment. Business should be your passion. Never give up. Keep on working hard, honestly, sincerely. You will succeed in your life. Maintaining high international standards, adopting new technology, constantly innovating, and keeping an employee retention rate of close to 95% has catapulted this SME onto the world stage. And it has become India's small giant. Moving forward, we move on to the story of a true academic. Sridhar Joshi did his B Pharma and stood second all over India. And for his N Pharma, he was a topper once again, specializing in micro-encapsulation. From there, he moved on to Pune University as a lecturer, where he clarified his knowledge, as well as his vision for the future to set up JB Chemicals. JB Chemicals manufacture solid lubricant bearings for automobile and other industries. Their co work area is solid lubricants, which are useful for making components like gear hubs in automobiles and other electronic products like mixers, fans, TV, and computers, among others. Starting a manufacturing unit was a thrilling experience from 1993. When we shifted to Pirangut, it was a totally different atmosphere right from the beginning of the construction of the unit laying the foundation at the hands of my late father and mother. Once we started the manufacturing in 1994, I used to come on a two-wheeler. The road was so narrow that even if a jeep comes, you have to get down off the road. And it was a horrible experience to travel in the night from the factory. From 1994 till 1998, those were the years of R&D, years of hard work, years of building up a team because team is more important when you start a manufacturing unit. JB Chemicals started working with R&D and developed products for sugar, engineering and textile industry before embarking to sintering industry. There they developed a specialized solid lubricating powder. Before 1997, sintering industries in India used to buy the lubricant zinc citrate from USA and UK. By keeping in pace with the international market, JB Chemicals not only produced quality zinc citrate but also pioneered the future lubricants. Initially it was very difficult because it is the Indian mentality that whatever has been imported is of the superior quality as to the goods or the materials or the raw materials that are manufactured in India. It was very difficult but as the relationship with the customer grows, they started believing in us. But initially, it was a very difficult job to convince the customer. So they used to check each and every bag for all the parameters. JB Chemicals has grown to keep pace with changing market needs and with its world-class innovation, competes well with international players. Whatever quality that all these multinationals used to offer, to the Indian companies, they used to say that we have got the ash content of 5%. Now we have reduced that ash content of 5% to 3.8%. So besides saving of the foreign exchange, we have also added quality to the manufacturing of these sintering industries. They faced a challenge in 2008 with global financial crisis, but their diversified products and experience kept them going. After 2008, there was also a change due to recession that people had more time to look into the products that are manufactured by sintering industry and they'd come up that we should have a sintered product that should have less than 2% of ash. And JB Chemicals, we are very proud that we could deliver within a span of three weeks to develop a new solid lubricating powder with ash content of maximum 1.8%. When we combine vision and action together, you get progress. So to progress, your surrounding has to be progressive in the nature. See, basically, we could cope up with the recession in the industry because we are not only catering to the sintering industry needs, we are also catering to the needs of sugar industry, textile industry, engineering industry, plating industry, 
and paint industry and ferrite industry. Due to the remote location of their plant, they took special care for their employees' needs, for things like inflation and travel. They also worked for local communities by providing them with free health care, education and career counselling. My motivation comes from my family. It's not like that, that every day you can make a new product. It takes months or years together to develop a product. At that time, you feel that, no, I just have to stop manufacturing or doing R&D on this product. But at that time, my brothers, my wife, they stood by me and they always believed in my abilities and capabilities to develop these products. Once again, a true entrepreneur and inventor has overcome the odds and worked tirelessly to create an enviable enterprise. Our salute to the small giants of India. Primetime television just turned into big time entertainment. Mazidar Mondays, Indu Mirani turns the lens on India's finest filmmakers on the boss dialogues. I'm happier when not too many people recognize me. Taza Tuesdays, Mihir Joshi strikes a chord with the grooviest musical acts in the country on the MJ show. When you go to the bigger shows and if you come out successful, you're just like, mmm. Life is stranger than fiction, you bet. Watch the edgiest documentaries on Wawa Wednesdays. Whatever you see in this world, it's illusion. Farapa Thursday brings you the latest and greatest from the hottest new genre in filmmaking. When will you understand that two minutes of Maggie Love Fez doesn't work? And take a front row seat on Film Fridays as Mayank and Pahad review the latest blockbuster release. Here, yeah, everything will get double. Every weekday at 9 p.m. on NDTV Prime, entertainment gets redefined. On NDTV Prime in association with Michael Max. Azadi, yen ni dar galil, yen baashayo, amar chinnu, amar bumi. When you think science, you never really think art. Yet the whole wide world of entertainment thrives on it. We need to tell people that indigenously what can be done in this country uh, in terms of technology. Watch Think Science tomorrow 8 a.m. on NDTV Prime. Michael Monsanto presents Think Science. Welcome back to India's Small Giants, where dreams do become a reality if you try hard enough. Now our next story is really going to make you ask the question, how did a woman entrepreneur do all this? She started way back in the 80s, entered a male-dominated business, played the game amongst huge MNCs and PSUs, yet had to run home and business at the same time, and still she managed to turn her business into a Petro Products independent giant. This story had us curious as well as impressed. 
Siddharth Petro Products is one of the leading grease and oil manufacturers in India. They were among the first few players to enter this sector. My husband, he was into oils and lubes. He used to give me the feedback about the greases, that there's a lot of market. So we thought of putting up the plant. He motivated me that I will be in your support, but I can't leave my job. I wanted to prove that ladies, girls can do wonders in life if they want to do seriously. So I took it as a challenge and uh, I put up the industry in 1988. It was not easy for a lady to get the licenses and quotas. And I wanted to bring a quality greases which will be known in the market. I wanted to supply to big companies, not in local market. That was my first aim. Ritu Sachdeva's unique ability to balance work and family life was a contributing factor to her success. I was treated differently in every respect because whenever I used to go to attend the conferences and all, there was hardly any lady in this profession. But I used to enjoy sitting with them, learning from them and sometimes my husband used to uh, accompany me. Being an engineer and my wife being a, a chemistry student, we always thought of putting up a grease unit. I prompted her to come up, come forward, show her entrepreneurship and put up an industry so that we can serve India with, a, with better quality products and it paid off. The success story lies in the balance which she showed over the last 25 years in bringing up the family at home as well as treating the whole staff here as a family. But last 25 years, I'm so happy that at least 25 to 30 people who are with me when I started the um, industry, they are with me so I treat them as my children. As I am growing, I see them growing and I feel very happy. We are constantly developing newer kind of products, food grade products, uh, transparent greases and those are in fact picked up by the biggest brands in the world. So innovation has to happen. You know, a lot of people get a lot of ideas but at the end of the day if the execution is not perfect, the iPhone was not the first touch screen phone that was launched, Google was not the, is not the first data interface. It's all about how well do you execute and hats off to my mother for executing the idea that she conceived back in the 1980s. I've seen her struggle way too much but again uh, what needs to be appreciated is that she's had a wonderful balance between her professional life and her personal life. One thing that I clearly remember uh, about my parents that they've always come back home with a smile and I think that's the secret for their success. As more Indian women have come to fore in the workplace, Ritu Sajdeva has taken it upon herself to pass the bait into the next generation of women. Today when I see reaching at this stage, I think I am the motivation for my coming generation and my daughter-in-law after listening my story, she is putting in full effort to take over this business as a challenging woman again as I used to do it. It is such a pleasure to be with her every day and the way she teaches me with so much patience. I am truly blessed by the confidence that she has had in me in such a short amount of time. A long list of customers include pioneers in the grease industry such as Castrol, Valvoline, Mobil, SKF, Timken, etc. We are into manufacturing premier products so that these customers can help cater their market needs in a better manner. Siddharth Petro Products has the most extensive range of products in the grease and oil industry. From the normal lithium greases to the most speciality, we have made all different ranges in synthetics, in food grade and we are actually exporting these to the mature markets of Europe. My secret of success is that give love begets love and be hardworking, be smiling and don't think of money. If you are sincere, hardworking, patient, you want to have relations with customers, don't dodge them automatically success will come. I will like to suggest only women that ladies Please come out, do something for the society. If they want to do anything, they can do wonders in life. We could just as well make up another adage this time. The family that sticks together, succeeds together. A truly heartwarming and inspiring story indeed. College musty of two friends, long commutes, 
even longer working hours, slogging their way to the top, working as employees for others, yet learning and adapting all along the way. This is the story of Unbreakable Dosti that led to a very successful IT business. Watch these two friends share the nostalgia in their own style, in their own words. Vintec Electronics was started by two college buddies in 1999, who also joined the same company after finishing college. Together, Rajiv and myself were together in the college. We had all sorts of college musti. We were good friends. We never thought of setting up our own business at that time. Coincidentally, we got into the same uh, jobs or jobs at the same company. We both of us joined a company called Eltec in Lonaula and we used to travel all the way by train. I remember we used to work sometimes for uh, 36 hours at a stretch. We really slogged a lot. We learned a lot. After working with the UPS company, they decided to do something different and took risk and an ethical decision to change the industry altogether. We got an opportunity from Vipro for uh, opening up a dealership, which we grabbed on. We decided immediately and got on to that. And a magic part of it, it was a fax machine dealership and we didn't know how to send a fax. <laughs> so that's, that was quite uh, adventurous at that time. On getting an unplanned opportunity, they jumped into office automation and have constantly learned and evolved to grow their business. In 2000, we felt that office automation is stagnating and we should move on further. IT was growing very fast, so we joined hands with Compaq and started selling compact notebooks. Windex first win came in 1997 when we were shortlisted and selected finally for supplying models for Tata Motors EDI project. The order value was not much in today's uh, calculations. It was just about 25 lakhs, for, but for us that was a very big win at that time. Windex is focused on IT systems integration for uh, enterprise, corporate and SMB customers. They saw an opportunity in the newly developing laptop market, which grew rapidly and now they are selling almost every major brand and office integration solutions at all level of industry. That time, one laptop uh, was uh, getting sold when there were uh, 10 desktops getting sold. So the ratio was 10 to 1. But within one year span, this, uh, this uh, market started changing and we were the first uh, organization which was selling more laptops than desktops. Their innovative thinking and SMB focus helped them to get through tough economic situations. From 15 lakhs, they have become a 50 crore company today. All the recessionary trends in 2004, 2008, 2012, we did not go down. We, in fact, grew up against the market trends just by reaching out or increasing our outreach to SMB customers. There is a special drive in Vintec where we always focus on retaining the customers what we have gained over the last 17-18 uh, years and acquiring new customers every year. In 2009, Vintec and Phoebus Technologies joined hands to expand their business. They were focused on enterprise business, software business. We were focused on SMB customers. We had a very large base of SMB customers. We are not exactly competing with each other and if we come together then we will perhaps make good use of our synergies. We were different in our own uh, business uh, initiatives. Hence, uh, two different companies coming together and uh, doing business would be much more better on the growth path and we can grow much faster. When approached by an NGO, they started helping out by employing people. They are not only open to ideas from their employees, but have also worked on e-waste management to cut the environmental impact of their business. We told them if anyway you are teaching them to be graduates and postgraduates, why don't we employ them? That will be a better way to support them. That in your, uh, increases is confidence. Uh, yes, I can work, I can get a job outside. Our secret of success, I attribute to some uh, three, four factors. One is our positive approach. Second is our never say, never say die spirit. Third thing is our cohesive team. These are three important parameters. And next week, join us again as we bring you more inspiring stories from emerging enterprises in the entrepreneur's own words. India Small Giants, only on NDTV Prime, Saturday 12.30 p.m. and Sunday 6.30 p.m. Meanwhile, India Small Giants reminds you, stay on the path to success.